So we're talking about 1944-45. And what the Ku Klux Klan would do is that they would come through our little town uh, twice a month. And we only had one road that circled the town that came through housing and so forth and so on. And what they would do is that they would shoot uh, in our homes. And it was every other Thursday night. Except it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times they are changing. But then when I got to New Orleans, that was a different picture for me. I mean, my, my belief system and, and uh, the way things that I, the things that I saw, I couldn't believe. Uh, the way that these people were being <laughs> treated. Yeah, you'll have to excuse me. I, I can get emotional about this, this sort of thing because uh, I wasn't used to that, that kind of life, you know, uh, seeing people being uh, uh, pushed back and, and, uh, and abused and, and, uh, in every sense of the word. From senators, congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall. For he that gets hurt will be he who has stalled the battle outside. Raging. You know, baseball did something for us during that time. Baseball pretty much taught us how to live together, how to exist together how to become educated together, how to be supportive together. And don't criticize what you can't understand, your son.